Hello YouTube, what's up? Today is a great day. I'm very happy. I'm celebrating because that's the fifth day of December, my birthday. I'm finally 18 and yeah. So first thing, ACDC. You can check out that guild. That's my guild. I am the leader. I am the creator and you can join it. All the information you have in the description of this video and well, I forgot to say, today is my birthday and I'm sitting alone in my room right now because the party will be in two weeks. Yeah, two weeks because next week I am leaving and all that information you'll find in another video that's not supposed to be in that video. There's also second guild, Confused Druids, they have different boss time so you may also be interested in that guild have really nice and kind players that will help you a lot but now there's uh, youtube networks for cast clash youtubers that are doing videos about cast clash and well you can join it Be just pm me let me know about your youtube channel and i will help you to join that youtube networks but what's the point they are giving rewards every month for youtube work mostly it's 10,000 gems 20,000 gems but i asked them for something different. I said like, what the heck? I don't want gems because I can buy gems with money. And the thing is, I asked them for Ares and I got it. Because, well, Ares is the game-breaking hero, most important arena hero for now. And, well, that's what they gave me as a gift for my birthday. <laughs> And right there, there is a sitting for five or vitalized talent for my Ares. I was so surprised after I, after I rolled the talent, and I rolled it with three talent refresh just one day before I got the Ares. And yeah, that's the right time to eat all of us EXP books that I was saving for so long time and consume all the slime essences, all the shirts and it will take a long long time so I will speed up the video in some parts just to do not make it very boring and very very long and I will interrupt the speed up parts to you know include some of my comments and opinions.
come on, come on, come on, is it going to be enough for nine star? Aries? No, sadly no, that's not enough, but I don't care that much, because just few HBM runs, few days, and that will make it nine star hero. It's very very close to 9 stars 206 level and now that's going to be the most lovely part of that video. Sacrificing all that slime essence that I was collecting from Mesa 2 and yeah that's probably one of the most enjoyable part of making my Aries powerful because comparing it to making my Qubit 9 of 9 with shirts Wow, that was very terrifying. I had to spend so much time just having two slots for heroes and, well, deploying all the time two high sacrifice times and consuming them, deploying, consuming. So, spending over 40,000 shirts was one of the most scary moments of my life. And that was a very easy way to get my Aries level up, skill up, up to 6 of 9, almost 7 of 9. But the key is that you can tap all these three kinds of EXP books and slime essences at once. But sadly, on Blue Stars I cannot do this because I have a mouse and I can tap only one thing at once. But if you have a phone, smartphone with multi-touch, there is no problem, just tap all these three things at once and it will go faster, much faster than for me. No, 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 the only thing now that I want to say is that it will take a while, a big while, so probably see I in 5 hours after consuming all the shirts.
Okay, and we are getting very very close to 8 of 9 Aries. 8 of 9 is a key spot for Aries because it targets 5 heroes and that's the maximum. And yeah, you want to target 5 heroes. You don't care much about a little bit more damage, just half second longer duration of a skill and that's the thing you want to achieve for Aries. 9 of 9 is of course better, but there's no real big difference and for most players all that 40,000 shirts would be a way to make your Ares 9 of 9. So here comes to Papa, longly awaited 8 of 9 Ares, the game breaking hero especially for Arena. Let's consume this last two green snipes and enjoy that Ares. But that's still not all. We have still inscriptions. Yeah, the new thing in Cast Clash. And right now I'm going to spend additional minutes to farm all the mana and get my Ares 8 level inscriptions. Max level inscriptions. Hmm. But first, let's maybe roll some talents because I have some spare gems. And let's see if we get anything good. Maybe 5 or 5 revitalized for Ares. That's what I would keep. But, well, I'm not sure if I would rather put 5 or 5 revitalized for my Cupid. That would make whole team stronger ever Ares. That would allow me to reach the highest rankings of Arena. 5 or 5 is the key. Because Ares has the longest range among all heroes. And if he procs, most of the times you win. So guys, this is the final result. This awesome Ares is almost 9 star, almost. It's one, it's 8 of 9, 4 of 5 revitalize, and it has level 80 inscriptions, so max inscriptions, almost max star, I mean 9 star almost, it has sprint set, but wait, this is level 2 sprint, level 3, level 1, level 2, and it would be level 2, if not the damn level 1, third stage. Sprint Crest. Oh come on, why I can't fight any Sprint Crest at that stage? So basically, I'm very happy and instead of getting gems, I got that lovely areas that have a big influence on my gameplay. You can, you can see there I'm defeating every player on Arena. That's not a big problem for me. My Grease Reaper is still 5 of 9, not full inscriptions, but due to areas, Arena became so easy for me. It's just ridiculously easy. So don't forget to give a like, write a comment about your opinions and stay tuned for more stuff. Take care guys!